one of the most underutilized tools in the fitness world is something as simple as a little notebook. It's a spot where you can track your workouts and your progression over time. And I know you don't have a lot of time. And I know that the biggest excuse that everyone keeps coming up with is time or they don't know what they're doing. It's not hard to write down, I worked out or I didn't work out. You can do it on a calendar, you can do it anywhere. It creates a sense of personal accountability. Are you progressing your weight? Are you showing up to the gym? Because a lot of times people will think they're going to the gym and they will realize quickly they are not doing as much work as they think they're doing. But one of the big reasons why people don't want to track their workouts is because they have to reflect on themselves. If you're tracking your workouts, even if it's simple as Monday, went to gym, Thursday, went to gym, Saturday, went to gym, you'll start noticing real fast that you're not going to the gym as much as you think you're going. And that's the easiest place to change. We think about getting from point A to point B as, well, I have to start today and I have to make it to the gym six days a week. No. If we find that you're actually only working out two days a week, it's really easy to increase that. But if you don't have a log of when you're working out, you can lie to whoever you're talking to and tell them, yeah, I do work out six days a week and that's why I'm not seeing any results. But if you're actually tracking when you go to the gym, how many meals you're eating, what you're actually doing, you will see a change in how you look. You will see a change in how you feel. There's a reason why there's a bunch of tracking apps, whether they're fitness tracking apps or food tracking apps. They exist for a reason, and these apps wouldn't exist if they weren't useful. There's a lot of coaches out there that'll tell you to track your food. Give me a food recall. Inevitably, when we ask somebody for a food recall, they'll tell us, well, a good day is, no, 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 I don't want to see a good day. A good day is useless. Or when we say, how often do you go to the gym? Well, a good week is, okay, well, how many good weeks do you really have? How many good days do you really have? Because if your good days and your good weeks outnumbered your bad, it would be pretty simple. It would be just, hey, I'm here and I'm succeeding. When we look at the big picture, tracking helps us become more of whatever it is that we're going to be. You've heard the cliche statement, if you can measure it, you can manage it. Well, here's the thing. If you start tracking even the number of steps that you're taking per day, let's just say you take a thousand steps a day because you work from home. Well, can we bring that up to 1,200? It's a small change, but if you add an extra 200 steps per day, that's an extra 1,400 steps per week. Incremental changes. The version of all of this is if you have a training log, we can make small incremental changes over time that'll be massively useful to you. If you don't keep a training log, it is really hard to establish a baseline. It's gonna take you a lot longer to find your baseline, and those incremental changes are gonna get a lot harder to make because we have to establish the baseline. Well, about halfway through editing this video, I realized that you, the watcher, are going to turn around and go, well, my favorite influencer doesn't track their workouts. And you're right. Your favorite influencer probably has a trainer that tracks their workouts for them. So you're welcome. They're still getting tracked.